Okay. Um, at the beginning of my show, I mentioned a website called the Black Journalism Review. Actually, I didn't mention it to the network. I was talking to the local Los Angeles audience. So I'll mention it to the national audience only because it, you know, it bothered me enough that I fired off an email to these guys. See, I don't know, and, and, and frankly, I don't care most of the time what people write about me because, it's, first of all, I have no way of knowing who's writing what, and I'm not going to drive myself crazy, but uh, my webmaster, Bill, who runs the philhenryshow.com website for our show, sent me a link to the site, Black Journalism Review, and apparently they have a bit that I did on the show up on their site as an example of hate radio. And the bit, you know what, I'm not even going to tell you what the bit was. But it was a bit that we did about a year and a half ago, and it had a specific purpose, the purpose of which was to expose a certain kind of behavior. In any way, they misunderstood it, and now I'm a hate monger. And they have my name on their site as an example of this punk shock jock mentality, which I don't doubt is going around, but unfortunately I ain't a part of it. I know all kind of punk shock jock mentality people in this business. Believe me, I'm not a part of that punk shock jock thing because that's not what we do. And I know what we do in a show. We satirize events and issues and people and places. Most of the time, the individuals that we're satirizing on this show have nothing to do with celebrity. They have more to do with just the the average man. That's the thing that I like to do on my show. I like to point up, send up, and make fun of average working class stiffs because I think that's where the real laughs are. And frankly, if you want to talk about danger, that's what the real danger is for our society. Dumbasses who are walking in and out of video stores and really aren't paying much attention to what's going on around them. That's, that's the part of life that I, like to, uh, that I like to look at, investigate, and make fun of. So uh, we did this bit, and now we're up on the Black Journalism Review, uh, whatever the hell this thing is, website, as a hate-mongering radio show. And they have links to the ADL. They have links to... Southern Poverty Law Center, obviously they're a prestigious group of people with some heavyweight contacts, but not a whole lot going on for them when it comes to being able to understand what satire is. And and, and I'm not a guy that uses that word lightly. There's people who have radio shows who do some ill-considered piece of crap radio, and then they say, well, it was satire. Well, they couldn't spell it, let alone define it. There are people who do some lame brain shtick, and they call it satire, because that will forgive whatever unfunny, dumbass bit they put on the radio. It will forgive them in the eyes of the people that didn't like it. Well, we do satire in the show because we understand what it is. We can define it. We, We prep the show that way, and we have very specific targets in mind when we do our show. So what happens, I guess maybe because the show is so bloody effective in a lot of ways, these guys put it up on their website. Now, I'm going to, um, I'll tell you, it's called the Black Journalism Review. And go, go, go and find them on the website, and you'll see what they're calling me. And if there is anybody affiliated or associated with that group, please know that I sent an email today to you explaining my show and explaining what I do. And I received an email back from these people saying, okay, please send us a cassette or a tape of your act so we can make the interpretation ourselves. We'll post your reply. Oh, I went to their website. I haven't seen it. If anybody has seen my reply on the Black Journalism Review website, if you can find a letter from me posted on their site, I would very much appreciate you letting me know. But I I went there as late as just a few minutes before my show looking for it. I didn't see it. I did get a letter from these guys, and they said, well, then we'll go ahead and interpret what you do if you send us your material, which would have been a really nice thing for them to do before they characterized me as a hate monger and an example of hate radio. I ain't, I'm not trying to be anybody's friend with my show. I want you to know, those of you who are, who are newly arrived at this program, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to be perceived as a, a man who... Uh, is colorblind because that, you know, is lame and that doesn't exist. And I'm not trying to speak the language of the brothers. Nor am I in with the Aryans and and their whole little block party. You know, I'm just me and I look at life and I do my stupid show and then I'm out of here at 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern and that's as funny as that gets. 
And if you're too thick to recognize that sometimes the most effective satire is explosive, some almost incendiarily explosive material that prompts response, if you're too ignorant to, to understand that, then I don't really care what you think. You know, I... Although I guess I do because I wrote a letter and I was and I was hurt by it. And uh, guess what? I know who I am. And you want to think I'm a you want to think I'm a racist? You can think that I hate Jews. You can think that I hate fags. You can you think it whatever you want. You want to, I don't it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. You can perceive me any way you want. The intelligent people who listen to this show know what it's about. And the rest of you people, man, I could, I, you know what? I'm tired of listening to you. So I'll do any material I feel like on race, sex, America, class, money, gang banging, age, war between the sexes, any material I feel like. Because I know the work and the effort that I put into this show. And if you want to misinterpret it and post my name all over the Internet as a hate monger and as a, an example of hate radio, you just feel free to do so. Because I'm beyond giving a crap, man. After I wrote that note, which I thought was very well written and, 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 and thought out, and I got this response back, well, send us an example of your stuff, and then we'll make a decision, as opposed to you interpreting what you heard in the first place and interpreting it on your website. And I realized I wasn't dealing with any brain surgeons anyway. The Black Journalism Review, I, I'm, I'm going to have to assume there's some people working on that site who are college-educated. Am I right? College-educated, maybe even postgraduate. But their facile, shallow, and very typical response really left me disappointed. I thought I was dealing with some people with a, a little bit of brain power. Apparently not. And, and, and one other thing. If young black men want to refer to each other as nigger... Then I got a I got a news flash for you. I have the right to comment on that. This is not some secret code that you all have and Whitey ain't allowed to review it, comment on it, or have any a feeling or, or, or opinion on it. No, 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 no. That that ain't how it works. When I see things in the culture practiced by no matter what the race, I'm gonna make a comment on it. I'm gonna say something about it. And if you want to say to me that I don't understand, well, then why don't you explain it to me? Well, you see, Phil, the reason why young black men call each other nigger is because uh, they have a, well, it's a long story. And, oh, it was, really? Is it a long story? Oh, well, you know what? I got plenty of time. Go ahead. Explain it to me. Well, they're trying to diffuse the, the hate. Well, you know what? There may be a million different reasons why, and I'm going to comment on all one million reasons. That's why they pay me the money they pay me. That's why I'm on the radio. That's why I'm so, to quote Kevin Spacey in the uh, movie, uh, uh, what was the name of that movie? Consenting Adults. Uh, that's why I'm so damn good. That's what I do. Now, I wrote these guys a real good letter. I'm expecting an answer back. I guess they gave me their answer. Would send us uh, some of your stuff, and we'll review it on our website. They did say that they posted my letter. I don't know if any of that's true. We'll, we'll, we'll look and see. But for now, to be called a hate monger and to be called a shock jock hate hate radio practitioner and all of the other lame and predictable things that I have been called in the past many times, I I expect a little bit more from a group of individuals that I'm assuming are college-educated, proficient journalists and not jive-ass.